Um, hello, everyone. Um, um, good. Um, I'm Yeron Li from Beijing University of Hosts and Telecommunications, and it's my great honor to have this opportunity to present my paper entitled Prediction of Kidney Transplantation Infection of Traditional Machine Learning and Deep Learning at this International Academic Conference. And I will introduce my work from the following five aspects. And firstly, uh, we will come to the background section. And kidney transplantation is an effective treatment for patients with terminal renal diseases. And however, post-operative infections and other complications can seriously affect the success of the transplant and the recipient's survival rate. So doctor must arrange irregular and variable laboratory tests for patients and monitor their physical conditions. And with the advancements in medical technology, hospitals use advanced electronic health systems to record patients' post-operative laboratory results and diagnostic result, uh, reports, and mostly imbalanced in irregular and multivariant data with missing values. And moreover, the number of laboratory results and uh, um, diagnostic reports increases as the number of the tests increases. And a kidney transplant infection prediction model is therefore essential to um, best use the um, patient's laboratory information and provide accurate predictions for the uh, um, physician diagnosis, which will alleviate the strained medical resources. And in addition, the integration of artificial intelligence and technology with the medical and healthcare sector is deepening, and the med medical application scen uh, scenarios are becoming more um, prosperous. And the main Application scenarios are text analysis of medical reports, medical image assisted um, diagnosis, and drug development, intelligent diagnosis, di uh, dialogue robot, and intelligent uh, logistics robot, and intelligent an analysis of individualized medical data. And however, um, Previous research on kidney transplant infection prediction has focused on the medical field. And researchers often uh, use medical methods of statistic models to predict infection after kidney transplantation. And few researchers use uh, art artificial intelligence methods to study the prediction of kidney transplantation infection. And the data sets they use are often not real data uh, distributions, and the amount of the data is small. So it is uh, of great interest to analyze and uh, model large real uh, kidney transplant data sets based on the traditional machine learning and deep learning. And our paper, um, presents an engineering ex uh, exercise for kidney transplant data and analyze and using traditional machine learning and deep learning methods to evaluate their performance in predicting kidney transplant infections. And the challenges faced include an imbalanced a multivariate sparse data set with single time step prediction and uh, no publicly available data sets with the same um, characteristics. And compared with other studies on, uh, on kidney transplant infection prediction, our contributions are we, and the first one, we analyzed the kidney transplant data set under the non-temporal um, scenarios and the temporal scenario respectively. And the second, we build a traditional machine learning based kidney transplant infection prediction model on the non temporal scenario in which we use naive Bayes Canyonist neighbor uh, support vector machines and uh, random forest models as baseline models. And in addition, we explore the 
effects on imbalanced datasets and feature selection on the classification of naive Bayes kinely enable uh, support vector machines and random forest. And the last one, in the tempo senior scenario, we propose a sliding window-based MTN kidney transplant infection prediction model in a temporal scenario and uh, explore the effects of imbalanced data sets and uh, sliding windows on the classification of the MTN model. And in the second part, we will introduce kidney transplant data set and the performance matrix we used. And the kidney transplant data set is from the third medical center of the general hospital of the, uh, of the Chinese People's uh, Liberation Army, which was collected from 2016 to 2019 with basic information, uh, physiological variables, and uh, diagnostic results of 1,000 uh, 890 patients, and our data set has complex features including imbalanced, irregular, sparse, and multivariant, inconsistent time distribution, and with single time step prediction. <clears throat> And in this paper, we access performance use using accuracy and the arrow under the ROC, we call it AUROC, and recall and FA score. And we can use the confusion matrix to deduce them. And moreover, the ROC curve is um, plotted with the FPR and TPR. And in the third part, we will present two systematic architectures for kidney transplant infection prediction and introduce the relevant um, theoretical foundations of traditional machine learning and deep learning. Uh, as the kidney transplant uh, data are um, new, new, numerical uh, and uh, carries temporal information, we can use the traditional machine learning to predict when the temporal information is ignored. And otherwise, we can use the deep learning to predict. So we divide the pre prediction task into two scenarios, non-temporal and temporal. And in the view of the imbalanced uh, irregular sparse multivariant in constant time distribution and with a single time step prediction characteristics of the kidney transplantation and data set. We design the two system uh, architectures according to the non-temporal scenario and temporal scenario respectively. And because the original kidney transplant data set has in valid data. So the data set needs to be cleaned firstly as a proportion of the positive and negative symbols in the data set is imbalanced. So we need to balance the data set subsequently. And in the uh, non-tempo scenario, then we use the feature uh, section to uh, extract the useful features and uh, reduce the dimensionality of the feature space. And next, we use the MB, KNN, SVM, and RF as the baseline models to construct the kidney transplant infection prediction models. And in the temporal scenario, and we use the sliding windows approaches uh, to partition the time series into small time uh, segments, which MTN takes as the inputs. And finally, we use the MTN model to predict kidney transplant infection. And in the non-temporal scenario, the imbalanced kidney transplant dataset problem is solved by using over oversampling, downsampling, and an optimized undersampling algorithm uh, called Easy Ensemble. And oversampling uh, method supplements the in balanced data set directly by generating the minority class symbols. And um, by contrast, under sampling has imbalanced the data set by discarding majority class symbols and suffering from the loss of the information. 
an easy example example is an optimized under sampling method which is an integration uh, method to retain as majority class symbols as possible to minimize the loss of information and feature selection aims to reduce the feature space dimensionality and improve machine learning performance by retaining useful features and removing the irrelevant and redundant features. And feature selection methods um, can be broadly classified into wrapped, uh, fitted, and embedded methods according to the selection uh, strategies. And we use the wrapped method REFCV method and the fielded method Pearson correlation coefficient, Spearman correlation coefficient, and the Kendall cor correlation coefficient, and the embedding method LE regular, regularization method. And the RF REFCV method is to first get the combination of all feature subsets by the search strategy and then the model evaluates the quality of the feature subsets to find the optimal feature subsets and the Pearson correlation coefficients for the uh, normally distributed data and the Spearman correlation coefficient is for the uh, monotonic data and the <clears throat> candle correlation coefficient is for the ordered data which are used for feature selection by analyzing the correlation of features. And the LE regularization method is often pu um, put into the loss function correlation, a calculation of the model. As a traditional machine uh, learning models, we use um, the naive Bayes canyonist neighbor and support vector machine and the random forest contrast um, construct the kidney transplant infection prediction models. And the AB model um, was supposed was proposed based on naive na uh, Bayes theorem. We, uh, it replies on the assumption of conditional independence of features and the basic process of classification by the NV algorithm is firstly calculate the probability of occurrence of each category based on the pre-proposed data, then estimate the conditional proba uh, probability of occurrence of each feature under the each uh, category, and later estimate the probability corresponding to each category after combining the features, and finally in the maximum category probably corresponding to the uh, combination of features is selected as a, the inference results. And Canyonist neighbor uh, is an inert algorithm and the basic purpose of the KLM algorithm is by uh, calculating the distance between the new sample to be tested and uh, each sample point in the training set. And the classification result of the first k samples, which is which uh, with the smallest distance is selected as a classification reference of the test sample, and then the algorithm will recommend the category with the highest frequency as a classification of the test sample, where the distance is often expressed um, as a Euclidean distance. And the SVM aims to con construct a hyperplane to separate the different categories of data on upside uh, op size. And it has three key pa um, parameters, which are kernel function, um, penalty factor C, and uh, kernel function parameter grammar. And RF is an algorithm in which uh, weak classifiers are integrated by uh, bagging into an upgraded robust and classifier. And in the temporal scenario, the kidney transplant dataset is sorted into the time series, uh, which is still imbalanced 
um, within and between the time series due to the label data at each point in time. So we uh, use the under sampling to address the imbalance between the time series. And the sliding window method is applied to segment the long time series into the short time series for efficient data analysis. At the same time, uh, the sliding window methods also can address the uh, imbalance within the time series by only saving the time series with a positive symbol. And the multi-time attention networks models, uh, we call it an MTNA model, is applied to predict kidney transplant infections where the encoder part is used for classification. And the MTN uh, uses a learnable time embedding and a multi-time attention mechan uh, mechanism to handle the multivariant irregular sparse time series. So it's optimal for us to predict the uh, kidney transplant infection. And moreover, in the fourth part, we will um, present the experiments uh, and the results and uh, discussion, the uh, implications. And the correlation analysis of the feature shows uh, the NK, uh, LYM and the BLYM are uh, duplicate features with a correlation coefficient of one. And thus we cannot keep them both. And, and in addition, we can also learn that there is a strong correlation between the CD4L uh, and CD43. And CD3 and CD8 count. Um, and C, uh, CD8, AL, and CD8 to CD3. And the, re and, and the results of the feature section for all methods are shown in Table 1. As a result, based on the combined consideration of the section results of the three feature in selection methods of um, rapid uh, fitted and embedded and the correlation analysis of the features. And uh, as a result, the six um, crucial features are selected. And table two shows that uh, each model trained under the original dataset has almost no ability to predict positive symbols correctly, and although the prediction accuracy is high. And the three balanced dataset approaches significantly improve the AUROC recall and FE score of each model. And differences in performance metrics and models make it difficult to compare methods directly. And different methods of balancing dataset uh, have different effects on different methods. And taking the MB math, uh, model as an example, the SMOTE balanced dataset gives the model the best prediction for positive symbols. However, the generation of SMOTE may introduce some noise or generate two similar uh, samples uh, leading to KN and uh, RF overfeeding. And since we only solve the imbalance problem in the training set and the test set still maintains the original highly imbalanced distribu distribution. And um, the models enhance the classification ability of the positive symbols and improve recall. It is also because of the uh, change in the training set distribution that the models all get low FE scores when tested on the test set of the region distribution. And the models become less capable of classifying the negative symbols, indicating that the general, uh, general like ability of the methods is insufficient. And the highest recall is 75% um, um, point 76 percentage and the highest FE score is 6.11 percentage under the SM SMOTE. And uh, 
um, comparison of table two and table three shows the feature section affects each model differently and is uh, influenced by data distribution and data size. The feature section may not improve the uh, performance of the models. However, for the easy ensemble based data set, feature section improves the individual models, AURC, recall, and FE scores. And finally, on balance MB and uh, SVM are more effective and uh, uh, relatively more sta stable in classifying the positive symbols among the traditional machine learning mo models used in this used in this paper. And um, the table for shows the comparison of MTN models on different methods. And when the data set is imbalanced, the prediction ability of the MTN for positive symbols is zero. After the under assembly, the time series kidney transplant data set, the uh, the recall is uh, increased by 13 percentage and the pre prediction performance for positive symbols is significantly improved. And the introduce of the sliding window further balances the data set, which exposes the hidden information of positive symbols in the time series. Thus, the recall of the model classification is increased by 35%. And at the same time, the FE score increases by 1.13 percentage um, compared to the uh, traditional machine learning uh, models. The temporal MTN model has higher accuracy and AUROC, but lower FE scores with essentially the same uh, maximum recall. And on further analyze, the reason for the low FE score is that there are more cases where the negative symbols are predict, predicted as positive symbols since the under sampling discards the negative only time series. So resulting in the model not learning enough about the negative only time series. Mm -hmm. And from the classification results, um, both the under sampling and sliding window methods effectively improved the classification accuracy of the MTN model for um, positive samples. Um, and the uh, sliding window was beneficial in helping the MTN model to dig deeper into the hidden information of the positive sample time series. However, the MTN model performed poorly as the proposed data set was still internally imbalanced with the 14.3% uh, percentage of the positive samples in each time series. And in addition, the um, positive samples are discontinuously are discontinuous in terms of the time steps. So it is difficult for the MTN model to mine the um, positive symbols hidden information entirely. If we want to use the temple information better, uh, we need to um, devil further into the time series data and the MTN model. And in the last part, we will summarize the main uh, findings of our uh, study and propose future research uh, directions. So in conclusion, our paper uses existing traditional machine learning and uh, deep learning methods to design the kidney transplant infection prediction models in non-temporal and uh, temporal scenarios, respectively respectively, and in the non-temporal scenario, the kidney transplantation prediction models constructed based on the uh, MB, KN, uh, SVM, and RF have better classification performance on the balanced data set, uh, among which the kidney transplantation prediction models constructed by uh, MB and SVM are more stable. And the balanced data set can significantly improve the, the infection prediction ability of the MTN-based kidney transplant infection prediction model in the time series scenario. And in addition, the sliding window method can further improve the ability of the MTN to mine temporal information, thus improves in, uh, the accuracy of the positive classification. 
and uh, uh, and uh, in the discussion part, uh, we uh, uh, our, uh, we have a lot of limits. We discard the time series with negative only symbols to balance the data set, which leads to the poor prediction of the kidney transplant infection prediction model for negative symbols. And in the future, we will continue to improve the uh, method to deal with the imbalance and uh, see more time series information and improve the kidney transplant infection prediction model from the time series generation or model uh, integration. And, and that's all of my presentation and say, thank you for your attention. Um, and thank you, thank you for your waiting. <laughs>